sword, right? Mm -hmm. And knee shield, correct? Yes. All right? Now, going off a knee shield, let's just recover some basics real quick. Uh, my knee isn't always straight up, right? I kind of keep it at a 45, right? So if he smashes into me, right, and he tries to smash this leg, though it's not so far down that you can get there, right? I'm using it at a sh as a shield to control the distance, right? Now, off of this, remember where your hands were? My elbow was high. I try to keep an arm underneath his chin. That way I can keep a frame and I'm here, right? And then remember, if you're gonna play knee shield, then your foot needs to be free. I need to be able to adjust to go to the other side, okay? But what we're gonna do off this is an arm drag, right? Now, if you pay attention to kind of how the frame is, right? The whole frame is on the inside of his space right here. You see how it is? Now my goal when I want to do the arm drag, I want to get this arm, just take it to the side. Yeah, yeah, there. That's what I want. If I can get this arm here, I'll get the arm drag, right? And it's your basic arm drag. Everybody knows arm drag, where we come from here and pull. Okay, there's no difference. It's just grabbing right here, behind, right on the elbow. But I'm here on this frame, right? And if you notice a lot, I'll put my hand in the collar. And the reason why I put my hand in the collar is because even though I know I'm probably not gonna get the choke, now he's concerned about the choke, right? And since he's concerned about the choke, usually he takes two hands to get that off. You see how it is? And that's when I go, come up. Right, and with the knee shield, what I've done is I've created enough space here, sorry, to where I can kick, I can do the arm drag off of here, I can get it here, but my whole goal is I'm here, I can create distance, get it here. You see how it is? This knee shield is what's giving me the space to help create the space to get the arm around. I just wanna get his arm on this side to get it, right? I can't get an arm drag from here. Here, I have to get the arm here. You see it? Do you see my angle? Again, I'm not squared up. All right, this seems like a very simple move, but I'm here. I'm not squared up. When I go for the arm drag, I need to get at a 45. Again, talking about angles. I'm, I, it's real hard for me to get an arm drag from here. Okay? It's a lot easier for me. I change my angle and get it here. Everybody see that? It's very, very subtle. But 90, and let's say 45. Okay, this is where I'm gonna get the arm drag. But let's just do this sequence here. So we're here, we're framing, right? I go in the collar, right? He's trying to smash me, he's doing whatever. See how I act like the choke, and he's like, oh, this is dangerous, so I gotta get this off. And that's what I'm gonna go. I'm gonna extend. You see how I'm extending and pulling his arm? Okay, so even if I extend on this side, then I get here. Now I take my foot off, and what I might prefer to do is a pendulum. So if I'm done here, I can come up. Okay, that pendulum is big, especially for bigger guys, right? Now all we're gonna do is keep the knee in for now. I want you to go here and grab however you want, but I want you to get that seat belt tight. Don't just go to your hand. We're gonna have you go here, right? And I want it tight and I'll cover that in a sec. But for this part of the drill, you're just gonna be here, playing around, hand in the collar, right? Go under, he grabs, extend, pull. Okay, come up, keep your knee in, grab, and grab tight, all right? And then we'll go to the next part of the sequence. Okay, just get that far. All right.